scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody! How's it going tonight? How are you? <laughs> you really switched it up there. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. I'm a little, you actually just put me off a little bit, but that's fine. <laughs> I was okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I was doing great. Um, um, we are Trenny and C. <laughs> we are whiskey reviewers. We have been doing this for a couple of years now, and uh, we are very excited to announce a Canadian whiskey that we do not get in this part of our country here. Right. But this is very exciting. T tell us what we got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's Pike Creek, 15-year-old, yes. and it is finished in Ontario Cabernet Sauvignon barrels at 42%. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, a, a what, what is it? What did they say here? Uh, it's basically two artisans coming yeah. together. Oh, you've read it. <laughs> I read the Where label. Was I can barely read it? the label. It's all in there. Was it this part? Yeah. 15-year-old Canadian whiskey finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. From Niagara's Foreign Affair Winery. There you go. This rich and complex whiskey is the result of a conversation between two artisans, a master blender and a winemaker, who are constantly looking to improve their craft. Very cool. Uh, this is limited edition. We are bottle number 1535. The reason it's so hard to read it is because they have this kind of like wine like stained wine, no, it's yeah. a like oh, wine yeah, yeah. stained look to. Uh, the label, which is really cool. And there you can see that it's the usual Pike Creek uh, design. And then they've got this like wine stain kind of here. Which is, <laughs> but if you want any more information out of us about this bottle that's not on the bottle, then you've come to the wrong yeah. place. <laughs> the only information we're gonna give you is what it tastes like. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, you may know us as Corby's fans. Because we are. We really like speaking, Wisers yeah. and uh, Lot 40, 40 and these Pike Creeks and all that. So this is an interesting one being wine barrel finished. And actually, Canadian whiskey has been doing it a little bit lately. Like the Wayne Gretzky does the wine barrel finish, yeah. you know. Um, um, Bareface is... Bareface is, is that, basically. This is very similar, I guess, to Bear, Bareface is seven years old. And mm -hmm. they're finished in um, Kelowna, British Columbia, out oh. of... Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Try that again. Try Hold that on. again. Hold on. There, there you go. There we go. Um, out of Mission Hill. Right. And they're using like a big, bold red. Like these, these cab sabs are For nice sure. big reds typically. So, you know, they're going to have some color influence and hopefully some flavor influence. And... <laughs> just, just do it. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I think it's that's one thing that is kind of unique to Canadian whiskey these days, which is using each other for all, like the X barrels and things Maybe like I'll that. Let it breathe. Yeah, let's try it. So 42%, <clears throat> let's do this thing. The color is quite nice. Very nice dark. Um, it is quite dark. Copper kind of look to it. Very dark amber. What's that? Oh, okay. You got that. Oh, uh, okay. So that's that big Pike Creek corn type nose on it there. It's, it's really, it still kind of has those caramels and toffees on the nose, but... Yeah, it kind of has a, a, a very wisery kind of arrival. But you're right, the corn is definitely up front. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit of that 15 years, like the, mm. the age is showing through this one. I'm actually picking up a little bit of a, um, a sweet, wine-ish kind of... Um, impression on there with a little hint of a kind of like a tart kind of a flavor too hmm. it smells I'm also very kind nice of getting like this oddly like marshmallow style vanilla oh. on the nose okay okay but but you're right the kind of like the sour grape kind of thing is yeah is on the the back of the nose if you want to call it the back <laughs> if there's a friend <laughs> Not the front of your nose, the back of your nose. But it's, is the back of your nose your mouth? <laughs> your sinus? <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. But no, there's a slight, like, fermented kind of vibe to the nose. Yeah. Okay. With, with still the classic Canadian, you know, toffees and caramels and vanillas. It almost 
in a way, in a weird way, it reminds me of like of some of these bourbons. There's this I don't know, almost the way that um, uh, Buffalo Trace yeah. has that cherry Bix thing. Yep. It kind of has something like that. There's some kind of impression. It's not the same, but it's... Because, it, like, bourbons have those vanillas and brown sugars and things like Canadian whiskey does, but... Oh, that is kind of bourbon That's interesting. Are you feeling me on that? Is I, that I can, am I, can, I into something I, I smell no? that, yeah. Okay. It is true, and it's not quite the spice and like nutmeg and stuff of a bourbon, but it's like a. You're right. It's more along the lines of like the the Vix vapor rub cherry kind of thing. Yeah, and that's probably the wine doing that. That's cool because we've it's, never it's, really said the same thing from Pike Creek, generally speaking. No, I mean I've I've had some like tropical moments with Pike Creek actually. There almost is a tropical thing happening here. I don't know. We're getting, we're getting. You deep. know, what? I, th I think this nose is going to open up too because, but, like, we just opened this bottle. It's it's a little chillier in here. But that's right? pretty cool that we're getting that much out of this nose. Yeah, for sure. That's a, there's a lot I, happening. I here. think very like, dynamic. Just uh, you know, they kind of have that Woo! golden rule that you gotta let it open up for a minute. A minute per, per year. Per year, and so well, these videos are these, only fifteen minutes long. Yeah, so it's not going to happen, but. You kind of get the impression that it's these need a chance to breathe and a yeah, chance to open up. Develop. Okay, let's drink it. Okay. Mm. Okay, there's the classic, like, corny okay. aspect with a tinge of that rye on the back, it tastes like. Couple things. Yeah. It has a feel. It has oh, a the tingly yeah. presence. Number two, it drinks bigger than 42%. Yeah. I'm going to say that. Sure. Like, it has a life to it, which is always... I love when mm. your whiskey, you feel it, and, and you don't just taste it. You feel it's it. It's lively. It's very lively spirit. I feel like there's, like, way more rye to the palate than there was some It notes. tasted a little bit rye-y. Yeah. Mm. R-Y-E-Y. <laughs> I'm honestly, like, that was just my second sip, but... Mm. For how big, or well, I shouldn't say big, but for how many flavors you can get out of the nose, the palate doesn't completely match up to no. the nose. But it's there's it's a lot going on. There's there. a lot of oak. There's a lot of oak mm. on that palate to me. Mm. That's one of the things I'm struck by. I think it's like but, so far my biggest thing is like it's really well balanced. It me. plays out really nicely. Yeah. This is a very nice whiskey. That, this is nice. Like this uh, might be. It, Okay, I think we're about to say the same thing because I I'm gonna say out of the Wiser style lineup okay. of Canadian whiskeys, yeah, um, Pike Creek has always kind of come come in last place for me. Right, you know, I've had my moments because we love the Wiser's lineup yeah. and we love Lot Forty. Yeah, and then Pike Creek has always been good, but it has been like third place. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And this now is tasting like something that I mean, wasn't it a Pike Creek that won the best? Yeah, it was the twenty-one year old. Yeah, last year. I mean, it was a twenty-one year old. Granted, this is year. still fifteen years old. And in my mind, I'm liking this better because I remember tasting these some of these Pike Creeks mm -hmm. that use what was it like Hungarian oak? Or, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, or was that the was that the last <laughs> forty? Shit. Anyway. No. Well, either way, they use different <laughs> oaks that to me tasted yeah. like really virgin barrels right right right. and um this is not doing the same thing at all no and the 21 last year was very a great um a great whiskey but i what i was about to say is that i think this might be my favorite pike creek mm -hmm. like i'm only two sips into it maybe i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here but first impression wise this might be my favorite pike I, creek I think i'm had. with you there yeah that's pretty i mean good. granted the bottle is something to look at. I like the style of it, yeah. but what's in the bottle is what's important. And sometimes, you know, you see all the marketing gimmicks the and that, you know, and you get tricked and then you taste it and you're like, ah, it's not what I was expecting. This is for me because I have had that experience with Pike Creek. Yeah. I'm liking it better. I really like it. Yeah. And it does have 
Um, like anybody that likes Bareface will like this. Yeah. Because there is a subtle similarity to it. They're not the same. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there is a similarity in, I mean, they're basically, they're finished the same way, right? Of course, different whiskeys going in, but there are some Yeah, some and, and different similar. wineries or whatever. I'm just saying that that's, it's, a, it's a, that's a genre. It's becoming right? that way. It's the Canada. wine, yeah. that like red wine finished whiskey or Canadian like, whiskey. Like I said, like I said with the Wayne Gretzky one too. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a few Canadian whiskeys that are doing this. This is better than the Gretzky though. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, no offense. Wayne. <laughs> but it's, no offense, it's Wayne. But, way uh, better than that. This yeah. is way, way better. <laughs> I, I'll, the point I'm making is that seems to be a trend in the uh, Canadian whiskey world these Whoever days. I thought Wayne Gretzky would hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you, Wayne. I bet by now, Shut Wayne up. Gretzky hates us. Oh, yeah. Like that, No, he still like, will never, never know who we are. Yeah, Wayne really Gretzky will never know who we are. But if he watched these videos, he stream. would hate us. Imagine that. <laughs> it's like we grew up loving him. He hates us. Yeah. Anyway, okay. this isn't about Wayne Gretzky. This is about but, Pike Creek. <laughs> this is actually about... Uh, Pike Creek? No. Dr. Don? Colin? Mm-hmm. Colin, who gave us... <laughs> yeah. <these. laughs> Colin McDougall. Follow him on Instagram at Corby.Colin. Um, he's a great ambassador uh, of whiskey, and he knows his stuff. Knows his cocktails. He's a great um, guy too. We've so met like a him. Dude. We've met him, you know, and hung out with him, and he's. And we're just gonna be live with him. Yeah, we're gonna be live with him. Um, um, this nose is opening up. The flavor is opening up. Just quickly going back to something you said earlier, it behaves bigger than a forty-two percent, mm-hmm. and the reason is for me now is the the finish seems to linger and last quite a while on this. That's where I'm getting more of the mm. drying kind of notes from a cab salve. Mm. You know, like it's it finishes like a red wine. But and you know what? Um, it's mm, that's good. But but it doesn't get overly dry. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're talking about a lot of oak time, fifteen yeah. years, and then wine. So yeah, it could have that real like. But it doesn't. No, but it, right? it lets you know it's there yeah, for a while. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it does, it's not a dry mouth kind of whiskey either. No. Very well done. Um, Dr. Don and team, presumably Bravo. you're the master blender they reference here. Yeah. Um, yeah, well done. It's very good. Well done, sir. Okay, so thank you for joining us. Yeah. If you can get your hands on this stuff, yeah. definitely go out and get it. Like, I mean, I yeah. know we have a lot of uh, American friends that watch us, and you can't completely get this stuff. So... If you can get into the Canadian whiskey world, yeah. it's gonna be, as far as I'm concerned, it's top notch. We'd worldwide say stuff. drive over the border to buy some, but you'll just have to yeah, fly no, over the border. <laughs> you'll have to fly. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Boom.